Okay, hello, this is Taryn Gleaves of um, Total Justice Gaming. There you go. <laughs> Sponsored by the Mamba. Sponsored by the Mamba. And the Longatana Dragon. And of course the Longatana Dragon. Um, and today we're doing a deck profile of Star Dragon World uh, Jack. So first we're going to show, of course, the buddy monster, Star Dragoner Jackknife. He is perhaps one of the best cards to have as the buddy in this entire deck. His ability is on call, you pay one gauge, and you check the top three cards and add whatever you want into his soul. The rest of the cards go to the drop zone. The reason he's the preferred buddy is just because you can call him out turn one without any problems. He has Soul Guard, he has 5,000 power, 3 critical, and 5,000 defense. Overall, a very solid buddy. Second card we play is Radiant Guardian Jackknife Aster. We play two of them just as the tech up in case we need to go against decks that like to take away our soul. You pay his ability is you pay one gauge and put this on you can, and you can put it on top of another Jackknife monster, but you don't have to. His effect is that during your turn, as long as you have a Dragon Arms in the card soul, this card cannot be destroyed by effects of opponent's cards. And you cannot be dealt damage by effect, and you can also not be dealt da effect damage, and as well as your car, your items cannot be destroyed. Overall, very solid choice to go on if you don't have the impact monster. Next card we play is Star Guardian Jackknife, the basically the original Jackknife that came with Star Dragon. His ability is you pay one gauge and you call him onto the field. His ability is you can take one card from the drop zone and add it to his soul. He has soul guard, he has 5,000 power, 3 defense, 3,000 critical, and, not 3,000, 3 critical, and 6,000 defense. Overall, pretty good card. Next, we're moving on to size 1s. The first size 1 we play is Star Guardian Jackknife SD. A very solid card. It allow, you can call him for no cost at all, and his ability is it's an active ability, you can call a size 2 Neo Dragon from your drop zone on top of this card by paying its call cost, which all the size 2 ones are 1 gauge, so it's basically nothing at all. And it allows you that if you're, like, saying you're going to call Jackknife Aster, you do, normally if you call him on his own, he wouldn't have any soul, but if you call him a Jackknife SD, he has one soul at least to survive one turn. Next card we play is V Gradation Quantum Ruler. He is a size 1, has 4,000 power, 1 critical, and 1,000 defense. His ability on call is that you get, as long as you have another monster with at least one card in its soul, you can gauge one card and draw one card. Very solid, so, very one. I don't know, I might, just depends on how many people you do. Next, we're moving to size 0 Neo Dragons. We only play two copies of one size 0 Neo Dragon, that is Sphere Cemetery, Star Remnant. You may only call, be called to the left, but if you were to call a Neo Dragon, the amount of gauge needed to pay for its call cost is reduced by one which in this deck is very devastating because of the fact that most of our co costs to call um, Neo Dragons are one gauge, so you basically get to call it for free. Overall, very solid, has 3,000 power, one critical, and 3,000 effects. Next, we're heading on to the uh, Dragon Arms. The first Dragon Arm we're going to go to we is size 3, and that is Jack Arms J. Galaxian. He has 6,000 power, 2 critical, and 5,000 defense. He's size 3, and he packs not that much power alone, but when he uses his skills and the soul of a jackknife, it is it's devastating. He gives all jackknives with his, when it's in his soul 1 critical, and when you uh, do final phase and call, uh, you know, say, an impact monster onto him, it cannot be nullified. It is really good. No, I mean, I'm not bad. Another size 3 play is Biggest Dragon Arms, Sonic Blast. It, it has 6,000 power, 3 critical, and 6,000 defense. His call cost is pay 2 gauge. When your Neo Dragon with this card in its soul attacks, you may pay 1 gauge. If you do, destroy a card on top of your opponent's field. He has the Cross Knives ability. You realize that we're not getting the full deck and shot, right? This is going to make it easier. Okay. So 
Yeah. Okay. Uh, next, we move into size ones. We play two dragon arms, radiant scudo. Uh, he has two thousand power, one critical, and four thousand effects. Overall, a very good card because uh, his counter ability is devotion wall. Uh, during your opponent's turn, you can negate attack by removing him from the soul. If it's and it can be from anything. So, like, say you have quantum ruler out here. If he's in the soul, you can pay one gauge and uh, nullify it. But if it's in the soul of a jackknife, say jackknife SD, you can nullify it for free because you don't because uh, his ability is if he's in the soul of a jackknife, you reduce the cost to pay it by one gauge. Next card we play is Jack Arms J Holder. The reason we uh, he is 3,000 power, one critical, 3,000 defense. Jack Arms J Holder's ability is when this card is put into the soul of a, a monster with jackknife in its card name from your field or drop zone, you may pay one life. If you do, put up to one card other than Jack Arms J Holder from that monster's soul into your hand. So this is very handy in case like you know spells, other um, impact monsters, or um, items get into like uh, jackknife soul. It's very it becomes very handy and it also lowers your health. I don't honestly go ask everybody to take a vote. Whoever votes on it, everybody plays the tournament. That's just the same thing. That's, that's I already seems... know what those four are going to say at the game. They're going to say uh, The next grade size one we play is Dragon Arms Radiant Alma. He has 2,000 power, 2 critical, and 1,000 defense. His act ability is if you have 6 or less life, and this card is in the soul of a Neo Dragon, you may pay 1 gauge. If you do, that card gets double attack. Angus, 25 penny Neither. Now we're going to size zeros. First size zero is Dragon Arms Artilliger. He is a must play in any Star Dragon World deck just because of his ability. His ability is if this card is in the soul of your Neo Dragon, nullify all abilities of originally size two or less monsters that is in battle with the Neo Dragon. This and this ability cannot be nullified no matter what. It's very good. Uh, our second is Dragon Arms Logisticker. He has 2,000 power, 1 critical, 2,000 defense. He has uh, remoteless support. And he gives, when you're attacking with an item, you have the availability to give it an extra critical, but only for that battle. Only for that battle. We've had confusion with this, but it has been rectified that yes, only for that battle. The next one we have is Dragon Arms Garble Anchor. Yes, 2,000 power, 1,000, 1,000, one crit, and, that a crit? one crit, and 2,000 defense. His, he has the counter ability, which is when your opponent were to cast a spell, you may put this card from the drop from inside the soul of a Neo Dragon to the drop zone and pay one gauge if you do, oh, and one life. And if you do, nullify the spell cast by your opponent. So basically, say you're attacking with Jackknife and he has a critical of four. And it, your opponent's at four life. If they try to cast that, like, a pesky uh, blue dragon shield, you can use this and say no. It's really good. Next, we're going on to impact monsters. Uh, so the first impact monster I play is two jackknife full liberate cannon. Uh, he has 6,000 power, two critical, and 6,000 defense. He has a size 2. You pay 3 gauge and put the top card and put it on top of a Neo Dragon on, my, on your field and put a card from the drop zone into this card's soul. As he, he says at the end of the battle that he attacks, uh, if I, you can choose up to 3 Neo Dragons from the soul and put them to the drop zone. Depending on how much you put from the soul to the drop zone, that's how much effect damage you deal. The next, the second uh, impact we play is Jackknife Galactical Punisher. He has 10,000 power, 3 critical, and 5,000 defense. He is a size 2 impact monster. He, you have to pay 3 gauge and put it on top of another Neo Dragon, just like the other one. His, his ability is, when it enters the field, you may put the top card of your drop. You may put a card on the drop zone into its soul. The damage this card, when it attacks, if it, if it is attacking alone, you, it's, a, its damage cannot be reduced. He has Penetrate and Soul Guard. 
No. That it? Nope. No. Nope. Okay. What, what, now we're going. Come on. You're fine, Taryn. I put okay. out longer tape. <laughs> okay. So, going on to items. First item we play, we play three Dragon Force. It has a release condition, which is you may pay six. You have to be at six life or less, and you have to have a monster with Jack Knife in its card name on your field. You pay two gauge. It cannot be destroyed nor returned to hand, and its ability cannot be nullified. It has quadruple attack, it has 6,000 power, and one critical. What a stupid card. Mm. You know, take that from him. Hater. Fight him on, fight him on camera. So salty, yes, Mamba. The next item we play is Cosmo Saber Gold Ring. Yes, it has 5,000 power and two critical. You equip it by paying one gauge. If there are three or more cards in the soul of a monster on your field, this card gets plus two critical. It's, you also have the ability to discard it from your hand and pay two gauge. If you do, you may search your deck for up to one card with Jackknife in his name and put it into your hand and shuffle your deck. Next card we play is Radiant Saber Provenance. That's 4,000 power, 2 critical, and you pay 1 gauge to equip. Give all monsters with Jackknife in the name the ability to move. And also, this card gains 1,000 power for each card in the soul of cards on your field. Next, we move on to spells. The first spell we play is 4 Earth Berry. You may only cast this if you, yourself, the player, are being attacked. You nullify the attack and gain one life. The next spell we play is Mars Barrier. Once it, you can only cast this card on your opponent's turn. It has the counter ability to, if it is not a link attack, you may nullify the attack. Sometimes they like to attack Jackknife, so that's always a good card to have on hand. And you don't have to have an empty center to do it. Next spell we play is two Proto Bear. Once again, you may only cast this if you, the player, are being attacked. It has the counter ability to nullify the attack and put the top card of your deck into the uh, into your gauge. Next spell we play, three Star Jack Repair. You may only cast a card if you have a card with Jackknife in its card name on your field. You may put, you put the top card of your deck into the gauge and put a card from your drop zone into the soul of a Neo Dragon on your field. You may only cast one Star Jack Repair a turn. The next spell we play is Dragoner's Beat. You may only cast this if your buddy is a Neo Dragon and has Jackknife in its card name. You may, the cast cost is pay one gauge. You have two abilities to choose from when casting Dragoner's Beat, which you can only cast once per turn. The abilities are pay one life. If you do, search your deck for up to one item and put it into your hand, and then shuffle the deck. The other ability is for this turn, an item on your field gets plus 2,000 power and one critical, and that's for the entire turn. It will go in through the ear. Uh, did you do it again? And the last yeah, and it. final spell we play in the, ga in the deck it. is two star alternate. No. You may pay one gauge, it, and its counter ability is choose a monster in the soul of a Neo Dragon on your field and call it on top of a Neo, Dra Neo Dragon monster on your field by paying its call cost. You may only cast one star alternate once per turn. I'm just going to play this is Ben, a Mamba Long Katana Dragon promotion.